Hi everyone, it's Mrs Berry here. Welcome to our presentation of the rowing class transitioning for September. Hi, it's Mrs Passmore here. Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays you will have Mrs Berry teaching you and on a Thursday and Friday it will be myself. We're really lucky to have two fantastic TAs. We've got Mrs Morse on a Monday and Friday and then Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday we have Mrs Fincher. Please have a read of our daily routine. We have a fantastic curriculum in Rowan class. We start every topic with a wow in day where we do something really exciting like a superhero day to get the children excited about our topic. Our wow outs are normally um, about something that they've created or you may be invited in to see something that they've made. Um, we also have a maths cafe during the academic year where the, you are again invited to come in and the children show you practical ways that we teach and learn maths in rowing class. Our themes and topics in year one are as follows. In the autumn term one, we will be looking at a topic called This Is Me, where we'll be exploring senses through science and looking at our locality. In autumn two, we'll be looking at a topic called Baby It's Cold Outside, where we'll be learning about different continents, looking at the Kalahari Desert and Antarctica and lots of other Christmas activities. In spring term one, we will be looking at a topic called Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. And here we'll be looking at history of space travel and how people have helped us today. In spring term two, we'll be doing a topic called How Does Your Garden Grow? Here we'll be looking at Capability Brown, is a famous gardener who landscaped the gardens at Croom, and we will also be planting our own plants. Summer term one, we'll be doing a topic called Life of the Farm. Here we'll hopefully be able to go to Churchfields Farm and see how things have changed there, and looking at history and farming as well. Lastly, we'll be looking at our family trees in summer term two and looking at our ancestors and how things have changed from our lives today. To enhance our curriculum, we have school visits and visitors who come into school. So Reverend Mark regularly comes into school. He also joins us in our RE lessons. He's really good fun to have um, and is very happy to answer any of the children's questions. We have um, two trips. One, we go to Croom Court, where we look at Capability Brown and how he designed the gardens and landscapes. And then we hopefully also go to Churchfields Farm, where the children get to see how the farm has had to adapt over time um, and they get to make some yummy ice cream of their own, hopefully. As previously mentioned, we invite parents and grandparents in to do a maths cafe. Here is where we show what maths learning is like in year one and you get to try out the activities with your children and enjoy biscuits and drink. Another enhancement of our curriculum is forest school. These sessions are led by Mrs Dean. The children absolutely love being able to go up into our forest school area and they get to have a little try in the different seasons so they get to see what it might be like in the spring and the summer. Um, Mrs Dean is always grateful for any volunteers um, so if you like the outdoors that might be something for you. Reading in year one is done lots of different ways. We do shared reading during lessons every day and we also do reading through cross-curricular activities, reading atlases, looking in books to, know, to learn more about history and geography and science. We also do guided reading using books levelled using our national book banding system and our Read Write Inc levels. Hopefully by September the library will be open for you to come in at 8.45 to 9 o'clock where you can change your library book as often as you wish. There's also an opportunity to take home Read Write Ink books and these will be levelled appropriately. We really encourage reading at home in year one and we would really like everyone to record the book title and write a response to the book that they've read in their homeschool link books and this will then be rewarded. So maths in Rowan class, we cover all areas of maths and we make sure that the maths work is set at your child's level. So for example, we're always able to challenge your child if they're particularly good at an area and there's always support for your child if they're finding a particular area difficult. Um, maths is taught in different ways. So we have um, oral maths, which is quite often a song which the children love to join in. Practical maths, where we're using equipment and having a go at things. And then they also have to record this maths work as well. 
Maths is taught every day and we use a concrete pictorial abstract policy. So what that means is with, when you use concrete things, you are using physical apparatus. So they might be using the pneumocon, they might be counting with dinosaurs, um, they are actually using things. The P is for pictorial, and that obviously is when they're using pictures in their math to help them with their learning. And then the abstract is when they can complete calculations and problem solving without any pictures or practical apparatus. We use a mastery approach, which means that we can always challenge our children. And um, we use a scheme called White Rose. So at NJK, our Christian values are fundamental to everything we do. And hopefully your children will be able to come home and tell you all about our values and the sorts of things they're doing at school so that they can really live out those values every day. More recently in school, we've introduced a house and house point system. In order to get a house point, the children need to show some of these learning behaviours and personal skills. They are perseverance, concentration, commitment, self-reliance and teamwork. We also feel positive feedback is a really good way for children to improve their behaviour and also their personal skills. Just like in reception, there is a zone board to reinforce po positive behaviours and going up or down the zone board according to the behaviour they display. We have congratulations assembly on a Friday and in year one children get to choose which con congratulations the children will get. We also have talk partner cards to make sure children talk to their partners in different ways. So assessment in rowing class is ongoing. It's always something we're doing as we're teaching your children. And um, there are specific things throughout the year where you will be informed and that will be two parents evenings um, where you will be told where your child is working at. Um, there's a year one phonic screening check in June and we do um, some checks before those dates to just check if there's any interventions needed, if, if any children need a little bit of extra work to get there. Um, the check is using words that they've learned in Read, Write, Ink. Um, we also use a school pupa online tracking system, which is where we monitor where your child's progress is and we look at their achievements. And then at the end of the year, you will receive a written report from your class teacher detailing all their achievements and progress. Last year, we introduced something really, really useful to the children and to us. It was the children's interests. Every term, we send out a star and to ask the children what they wish to do and what they want to do within reason of the learning for that term. Then we'll try and incorporate their ideas into our planning and then we'll display them on the window for everyone to see. So homework in rowing class. The most important thing we really, really advise is that you do read every day with your child and it's really helpful for us as well if we can see um, what you've been reading if you record it in their homeschool link book. Um, we are really lucky to have Numbots, which is a great way for children to practice their early number skills. So you can do that as often as you want. Um, read, write, ink sounds and the books that are sent home daily. Again, they're really, really important to help your child's progress. We will send home a knowledge organiser at the starting point for every topic. And that will help you know the sort of vocabulary we're going to be teaching and the skills they're going to be learning and the knowledge. Um, we also have an account with Education City, which hopefully your child will have a password for. Again, that's another great online programme that we use that has games and activities to help your child's learning. Um, and from this year, we're actually going to use Seesaw, as it's worked so well, for homework tasks. As per previous years, the uniform list is on the website. Please ensure PE kits named and in school every day and check pumps and trainers to make sure they fit. Winter kit includes joggers, a long sleeve top and please ensure water bottles are named and in school. Please provide tape to cover earrings for PE and no jewellery to be worn. So communication is really important to NJK and the homeschool link books are the first stage of that. Feel free to write in any messages because they're checked every day. Um, the school website is regularly updated with information and Mrs Cross is great at sending out text messages. The newsletters are now emailed regularly. Um, if you have any specific inquiries to do with the homework, feel free to use Seesaw to contact Mrs Berry and myself. Any other worries, please make an appointment to speak to um, Mrs Berry or myself or to contact Mrs Cross in the office. If you have any specific questions or inquiries regarding this presentation, please 
email them to the address here or go into the class page website. We look forward to working with you and getting to know your child even better. Can't wait to meet you in September. Thank you. Bye from Mrs Berry. Hi, Mrs Passmore here. Have a wonderful summer. Keep reading, keep learning and we'll see you in September.